Why are collision repairers so confused about scanning and ADAS calibrations? I'm Jason Stahl, and we're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. The world of automotive technology is going through so much change right now. To get the proper diagnostic information we need so we know what's going on can be confusing at best. Where do you get your information? How up to date is it? Consider that vehicle information is changing very quickly and keeping up with that information is critical to repairing a vehicle safely and building correctly. There are shops that assume the repairs are being done correctly because they assume their technicians all know what to do when repairing vehicles, including new vehicles that are designed differently. They're not spending adequate time researching the correct repair procedures. It's hard to say why collision repairs are confused on scanning and calibration requirements. The information is out there for all shops to follow. All data, OEMOneStop.com, etc. Maybe the world of disinformation is clouding people's judgment. We've all seen the University of YouTube videos that have confused many managers and technicians on proper repairs. Just because someone has the opinion that the way they're doing a repair is correct does not make it true. One assumption that shops keep making is that if there are no codes in the post repair scan, a calibration is not needed. There is a great deal of difference between a scan and a calibration. One gives you information while the other gives you validation. Another point of contention is when and why calibrations must be performed and how recommended versus required plays into the repair process needed. Keep in mind that the only expert on the repair of the vehicle is the vehicle manufacturer. For some reason, the words recommend and require seem to confuse many people. I recommend you weld the car correctly. I require you weld the car correctly. Either way you look at it, you should weld the car correctly for the safety of the family and your shop's liability. In our next video, we're going to further clear up the confusion by taking a closer look at the difference between scanning and ADAS calibrations. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.